PhD Tech Tips here with another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can route internal audio to input settings for a video. Now what do I mean by that exactly? This means that if you want to, for example, talk over a YouTube video that you'd be playing in a screen recording, that audio, instead of being recorded from your microphone, is just routed directly to the video. You'll still be able to hear the video, but instead the audio will be so much clearer because it's just going to be directly routed to the, to the recording. Now this makes things a lot easier because you don't have to worry about audio quality issues. You can do this for a number of different things. This is not limited uh, to just this, but if you want to say include a YouTube snippet for a recording you're making for a lecture, or a recitation, or just for general video recording purposes, there's a really easy way to do this. Now on Windows, this is a lot easier because Windows is typically set up for this rerouting, but on Mac, there used to be a program called Soundflower where you could do this. Now Black Hole has become the standard, and today I'm gonna to show you how exactly you can use Black Hole to route audio for something like QuickTime. So what you're gonna do is go to existential.audio, and I'm going to put a link in the description. So what you'll do is you'll fill out your email address, first name, last name, and you're gonna subscribe for free Mac download. So once you download this, you're just going to install the PKG file like you normally would uh, with any Mac installation. And boom, it should be installed on your computer. So once you install it, you need to find a way to set it up. Now, what you're gonna do is you spotlight search, command search, command space, and you're going to type in the following, audio MIDI setup. Press enter. And once you do that, you're going to change a couple of settings here. One is you're going to add two new devices. Uh, the one device you'll add is gonna be a multi-output device. And here, what you'll wanna do is do a couple of things. One, add the build-in output and then select drift correction. And then you also want to select the black hole 2CH drift correction. Uh, actually, you can unselect the drift correction here. What really matters is the aggregate device, which I'll select here. And so what you'll do in the following is when you set up the aggregate device by pressing on the plus sign here, you will select built-in microphone and black hole 2CH. Some people do select drift correction, but for our intent purposes and based on what I've seen with using it, I'll just leave them unselected. Okay, so then once you do that, you have your aggregate device that should say four ins, two outs, your microphone and your black hole, and your multi-output device that should be your built-in output and your black hole 2CH. Once that's done, you can just exit out of this, and then I'm going to just show you what my QuickTime setup, setup looks like. I will open a preview where you can see the settings here. And basically what I did was I switched my microphone from the built-in microphone, so the one that's in my MacBook, to aggregate device. And then once you do that, you should be able to record and you might wanna test it a couple of times, play a video in the background, and then play it again. Try it again with just using the microphone and then see if there's a drastic change in the quality. That's all I wanted to talk about. I hope this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments and I'll see you again later.